Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy Top 5 video. And we're going to be talking about the top 5 roamers in all of Lumion Legacy. I made this list over 2 years ago, and ever since then, there are a lot of brand new roamers that were added, and some of the older roamers have gotten better. So with that out of the way, let's head right onto this list. So, number 5 onto this list is going to be Nova Diaz. Nova Diaz is probably one of the best mixed attacking Lumians in all of Lumion Legacy. With the Obsidian Heart ability, it makes its Ancient type attacks hit really hard. And when you combine that with Fire Ice Stab, it makes Nova Diaz really hard to beat. It hits so hard on both sides that you don't know which Nova Diaz set you're going to face until it actually uses a move. And even if it uses a move, there's still the chance of it running mixed, which can make it very, very threatening. If you can make the right predicts with Nova Diaz, Nova Diaz can outright win you a game like it did in one of these clips. It's awesome. And while it isn't great defensively, it does have pretty good stats all across the board. 101 speed, 129 attack on both sides, 75 range defense, 85 melee defense, a pretty good energy stat, and a good health stat makes Nova Diaz really, really hard to beat. And it also has Icicle Traps and Burna, meaning that you can even run a support set as well. There's a lot of different sets you can run on Nova Diaz, and that's what makes it very threatening. The only reason why it is number 5 and not higher is because let's just say that one of the Dragon Forms are a little bit better than Nova Diaz. And that's why Nova Diaz is only number 5 and not higher on the list, despite having a lot of offensive potential. Number 4 to this list is going to be... Cosmere Unleashed. Now, out of all the Cosmere forms, I think the Cosmere Unleashed form is the best out of all of them, and it's mainly due because of the Surrogate ability. When an ally is knocked out in battle, you take over its ability, and you can take some overpowered abilities. For Illumion, it has 134 melee attack and a pretty decent speed stat of 96. The abilities that this Illumion can take can be really dangerous. You have Appetite, which gives you stat boost every single turn. You have Ace to make you hit really hard. And you also have Specialization 1 move with Boots, making it hit so hard and very fast. And not even Metal Types can really swap into a Spec Muir, which is kind of scary. It also has a healing move in Slumber. It has Hypnotize to hypnotize the opposing Lumion. And you could run Incandescent, or not Incandescent, you could run Idiosyncratic and run a ranged attacking one as well. The reason why Cosmere Unleashed is only number 4 on the list, despite having a very overpowered ability, is because Metal Types do generally wall Cosmere. And while these things can run Hypnotize, not everyone is that annoying to run Hypnotize on a Cosmere, thankfully. So that's really good. And it also does have competition with Cosmere Crack, because Cosmere Crack can run Rageful Plushy. Despite that, though, Cosmere Unleashed form is definitely a very dangerous Lumion, especially with certain team matchups. Number three onto this list is going to be Gargolem Defense Form. Gargolem Defense Form is a top 10 Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy, and it's because of its ability to handle the hazards game. It's a Lumion that is able to get rid of hazards and place hazards with ease. It can also put a lot of pressure on the opposing team because it has barbs and icy traps, which is awesome. And while Gargolem Defense Form isn't the only Gargolem form, it's the best Gargolem form because of its ability to utilize its moves. Gargolem Attack is too frail, Gargolem Speed doesn't hit hard enough, and Gargolem Base is Gargolem Base. There's no reason to use it. As for Defense Form, while it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's so bulky that it can soak hits on both sides. Its only biggest weakness is Water and Ice types, and it can get hit by Grass types as well, but even then, there's not many hard-hitting Grass types currently, maybe besides Tatov and Sea Drake. But, the thing that makes Gargolem Defense Form so dangerous is the fact that it can place hazards and then driving force the opposing Lumion out. Meaning that, if that Lumion is trying to set up, too bad, you force him out, and you deal Barb's damage. And it also has Slapdown Utility, Empathize for HP, and Mudslide to get rid of hazards. Gargolem Defense Form is easily a top 5 roamer in all of Lumion Legacy. Number 2 onto this list is going to be... Glissadia. Glissadia is the reason why Nova Diaz is only number 5 and not higher. It's because Glissadia is the better dragon. With Chilling Passion, it makes its Ice-type attacks do 50% more damage. That, on top of Stab, is really overpowered. It also has Draco Beam, which is 130 power stab, 
Icicle Traps, and Peace of Mind. Even though Glacia Dia has less attack, it hits so much harder than Nova Dia's because it has that Ice Stab. And it also has 10 more speed, which makes it an overall better offensive Lumion. Now, it does get walled by metal types, but currently in this meta, there aren't many metal types that can actually swap into a Glacidia because the best metal types are Stratosaur that's weak to Ice, Oxydrake that's neutral to Ancient, and some other Lumions like that. There aren't any other good metal types besides that. You do have Hunter, but Hunter is very frail. There's a lot of capabilities with a Glacidia. Not to mention that its range bulk is also pretty good, meaning you can actually soak a super effective hit on the range side if the other Lumion isn't powerful. That's insane. Glacidia is definitely one of the most overpowered roamers in all of Lumion Legacy, and it definitely has Uber's potential. While I don't think it is an Uber, it definitely has that potential to be an Uber, and that's why it's number two on the list. Honorable mentions on this list, and honorable mention number one is Aklos. Aklos is a very powerful Lumion that has great stats across the board, a great offensive typing, and brawn boost. The reason why this Lumion didn't make the list is because it does get walled by a couple of Lumions if you don't have the right coverage moves. But this Lumion is very dangerous, and this thing has gotten a lot of sweeps for me. So yeah, Aklos, honorable mention number one. Honorable mention number two is Mutagon. Mutagon used to be the number one roamer in all of Lumion Legacy with Brawn Boost Quick Punch. But ever since it lost Quick Punch, it definitely has struggled a lot more. And honestly... I think the Tank Mutagon is the better Mutagon to use at the moment. Despite that, though, it still hits hard, it still has Brawn Boost, and it still has good coverage. And without Quick Punch, you have Frost Punch for air types now, so that is definitely a huge advantage for it. The best roamer in all of Lumion Legacy is... Metronet. Now, a lot of people might be shocked that Metronet is number one and not Glacidia, but I have my reasonings. Metronet has one of the best defensive typings in all of Lumion Legacy, as it only has two weaknesses, quad weak to bug and weak to fire. It also has good coverage. Mind Dark is a pretty good offensive typing with Pyrokinesis coverage. Makes Metronet very dangerous. It also has great base stats across the board. It also has Splitting Headache. It has Hypnotize. It has Barter, and if you have Volcanic Ashes, you can stun melee attackers. And you could also run the Soul Burst form. And while the Soul Burst Metronet isn't quite as good as normal Metronet, it definitely supports from the utility of normal Metronet. Because once you get your Soul Burst off of Soul Burst Metronet, it's almost impossible to stop. Because you could set up a couple Peace of Minds, and after two Peace of Minds and a Soul Burst, Soul Burst Metronet can easily sweep the battle. Both Soul Burst Metronet and normal Metronet are some of the most overpowered Lumians in all of Lumian Legacy. And when you add its fast speed stat and hypnotize on top of that, Makes this easy, the number one Lumion on this list, and a huge reason why Metronet has always been an Uber throughout its entire life cycle. So yeah, Metronet, the number one roamer in all of Lumion Legacy. And here it is, Metronet, the best roamer in all of Lumion Legacy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about the top five roamers. If there are so many good roamers that I missed on the list, please tell me in the comments below because there were some other good ones like Ikazune and Neverbear that couldn't quite make the list. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all all later. Bye bye!